Hey, I spent all morning today uh, fielding questions from people uh, through email or comments via text message about what I think of Hickok's most recent announcement. Uh, now, before people go, no one asked you anything, you're just looking for an excuse to talk, there are people that actually do ask me stuff. They send me emails. Hell, I get texts from Tim and uh, Eric and Dan and Sam, you know, talking about Hickok's video. And other things, too, of course. Uh, but uh, there are people out there that, you know, are bored enough to care what I think, or at least want to hear what I think. Uh, or they just maybe they like to poke the monkey and see who he throws his feces at today. But like I said, they're asking me what I think of Hickok's most recent video. Well, if you haven't seen the video, it's a video where Hickok comes out and says, we are no longer going to be working in an official capacity with the NRA. Uh, now, this is like a 10 minute and six second video. It could have been like 15 seconds long because he could have just told you the gist of it really easily. And uh, I'll try to give you the gist of it here. I'll have to get into my Hickok persona. Uh, I'm not going to bother standing on a box. Just pretend I'm much taller. Uh, <clears throat> let's get into character here. <clears throat> we have decided that supporting the NRA is no longer financially beneficial. So we shan't be doing that any longer. Uh, you know, that's kind of my best Hickok impression. I don't know how he really talks in real life because we all know what he pretends to be on the internet is not what he is in real life. Uh, but, you know, that video, he's managed to stretch that out into 10 minutes and 6 seconds. And there's a reason for that. I don't. Everybody who's a YouTube person knows when you get that little packet from YouTube on how to make money on YouTube, it tells you your videos better be 10 minutes or longer. Uh, so we all know why he has to stretch his videos out a little bit. But uh, I want to address the fact that Hickok is now saying that he's not going to lo no longer going to be supporting the NRA in official capacity. Which is funny because not too long ago he made a video where he's like, I don't work for the NRA and uh, here's why I work for the NRA. You know, it was, you know, weird. These, these two have been talking in circles for so long, trying to hide the fact that they're a bunch of profiteering shills, that they've got their heads shoved so far up each other's asses that, you know, they just keep doing that little loop and they don't really know what they're doing. Oh, and by the way, speaking of the two of them, could John look more like a hostage in this video than he does? Could he possibly look more like a hostage? I don't think he could. Uh, but getting back to the content of the video, basically what Hickok's doing is he's going to stop taking money for the NRA for recruiting for them and promoting their ideas and promoting their agenda. And the only reason he's doing that is because it isn't paying off right now. He's not making a lot of money from it. Too many people have soured on the NRA and he's losing money because there's people that are like, I don't want to watch your videos anymore. I don't want to buy your products. I don't want to have my organizers pay you to show up at rallies. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know how much it costs to have him show up at a rally, just ask your son. They have a little sheet that'll tell you exactly how much it costs to have him show up for something, you know, to act like he's fighting for your rights. But, you know, it was costing them more money than it was making them. So they're going to be big men now and go, we're against it now. We're going to stand up, make a stand. Uh, now, are they going to make a stand? I wish they would. <laughs> I really wish one of the biggest voices on YouTube uh, that are, that's gun related, not pro gun, but gun related would actually become pro Second Amendment. I wish they would. I don't think they will. Remember, he made a video not too long ago uh, where he was talking about how, well, I'd love to fight for people's rights and I would love to do the right thing. But if I did, I'd piss off some people and I'd start making less money. And then advertisers would stop giving me money. And if I didn't make money, I wouldn't do this because I don't care about your rights. I just care about money. Uh, so if I didn't make the money, I wouldn't make the videos that you have the extreme pleasure of watching every day. Uh, that bullshit he spread out there. Uh, so uh, people who are asking me like, oh, well, this is a great new step, isn't it? This is a great uh, step towards getting things done. Mm, it could be, but 
I don't believe it is. Now, I know some people are jumping on the bandwagon right away. Like, oh, thank God, Hickok, you're the man. Thank you for stepping up when you absolutely had no other options. Uh, but, you know, I understand how people get sucked into this hero worship garbage. Uh, and they start to think people are actually good for them when they're not. You know, you know, it's battered wife syndrome. So many people on the Internet seem to have it. I don't know why. I mean, that Stockholm syndrome is powerful. Uh, so, uh, but, you know. And I understand, like I said, I understand it. You come on social media, you see someone, pretty face, nice rack, you know, sweet piece of ass like Hickok, and you're like, I want to like them, and I want to believe everything they say. But every now and then, you got to come to the conclusion that, you know, even though it's pretty messenger, the message itself is just a bunch of bullshit made to muddy the waters to make people happy with the status quo. So uh, this whole idea that Hickok has now seen the light, and he's going to be on our side now. No, I don't buy it. Uh, just It's just like the stuff going on in the NRA right now. It's all smokescreen, mirrors, tricks, etc. to try to get people into back into supporting the NRA. Uh, not buying it. Uh, don't buy it from Hickok. Don't buy it from the NRA. Definitely don't buy it from uh, LaPierre. So for the people asking me what I think, I think he had no other option. He decided to follow the money. And right now the money isn't at the NRA. He's losing money by being their voice, by being their shill. So he stepped away. And even then he left himself room to come back, <laughs> you know, because if the money starts flowing again, he'll be right back there doing the same thing. Oh, and I also want to notice one thing. I, one thing I did leave out in the synopsis of my, uh, uh, my take on his video is that you'll pay close attention to what he says in there and how he points out that he didn't make this decision based on anything anybody on the internet say in any of the other channels, any of his followers, etc. He made it himself because he don't listen to none of them because he's better than us. He's not one of us. He's up there. We're down here. He don't listen to us. And by us, I mean me, you, you know, the viewers, the people that make up the actual gun community, the people that actually rallied together and got some shit done over the last week. The ones that are really making a difference. Not the ones, like I said, that are just muddy in the waters and supporting the status quo and selling you a bunch of garbage as long as it makes them money. I mean garbage ideas. So as far as what I think of his video, it's just more of the same from this duplicitous, lying, profiteering, uh, opportunistic, elitist FUD. That's what it is. And a FUD doesn't change his stripes overnight. I hope he does change. I hope he does start doing the right thing. But like I said, we'll see. Based on his past comments about how he wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't making a lot of money doing it, I don't think we're going to see him doing anything of any consequence. <gasps> Oops. Thank you.